guys, welcome to my channel. We are back at the dollar store. So today's video is going to be a complete full face of makeup from Dollar General. This is a new brand that actually just came out. It's called Believe. I saw a couple people do this video and it really made me excited to go to the dollar store and buy everything from this brand. I literally bought everything. I actually am going to insert a quick clip here of what the makeup little display looked like. They had everything. They had makeup, setting spray, concealer, foundation, eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyebrow pencils. They, they had it all. And I was so excited because they actually had pretty much stock of everything. There was one brush that I could not get. So I'm really excited. I don't know if you guys have seen my other dollar store video, but that was a rough video. People came for me on that video because when I did that video, I wasn't really thinking. I was being a little rough and a little intense on the dollar store makeup, but I was also trying to make it like funny at the same time, but I guess people got a little offended. If you guys have not seen that video, I will link it down below, but people got really upset. That was the first hate comments that I've ever got on YouTube was on that video, and people were so mean to me, but I was just like, okay, obviously people don't really understand my personality because I personally was being like I was being a little harsh but honestly the makeup ended up looking fine but I didn't like the foundation you know I don't know I'm just very real so if I don't like something I'm going to tell you guys I'm not gonna tell you like oh my god this foundation is life-changing it's only a dollar go get yourself one and then and you go use it and then you're like all right cool thanks Val for the recommendation so I'm hoping this video goes a little smoother. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you guys like videos like this and also subscribe if you have not already. Also, follow me on Instagram. I have both of my Instagrams listed right here for you guys. I have my regular Instagram where I post like fashion, makeup, all that stuff. And then I have my other Instagram which is my hair account, which is my business. So I post a lot of like hair pictures on there and stuff like that. So if you guys wanna keep up with me, don't forget to follow me on social media. And all right, let's just jump right in. All right, now that we are up close and personal. I paid $121 for everything that I got right here. So they actually had primer, which is amazing. I was shocked to see that they had primer. So this is what the packaging looks like. This reminds me a lot of like wet and wild type prices. So everything was not a dollar. It ranged from like $3 to $5. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the price in the bottom corner of everything that I'm talking about. That way you guys can kind of see how much everything is. So these are two primers. They actually had three. They had a color correcting one and then they, they had these two. This is the Stay Put Makeup Primer and then this one is the Hydrating Primer. I think I'm gonna use the Stay Put one just cause I wanna see if it actually does make the makeup lasts longer so let oh wow that just that just poured out so fast okay all right so we're just gonna rub this onto my skin feels really moisturizing although this one is supposed to be like this stay put one it feels like hydrating on my skin all right next up we have foundation I was actually kind of impressed by this packaging for the dollar store like it's it's a glass packaging and it's not like the worst packaging I've ever seen it's actually like quite nice. It has their little logo, Believe Beauty, on here. So this one is in the color Neutral Tan, and then I got the color Tawny. Um, I did actually just self-tan, so I do have a bit of a tan going on. Wow. Okay, so this has a pump. Look at this packaging, you guys. I believe the foundation was $5, so pretty much like Wet n Wild price. So I am going to go in with the color Neutral Tan. I'm going to apply two pumps and see where that gets us, which is usually what I typically do. And I'm going to take my Beauty Blender... And I'm gonna blend this in. I do think this is a good color for my self tanner. Obviously it's darker than my face, but I want to match my face to my body. This is actually blending out really nicely. Yes, I am using a beauty blender, but they actually only had foundation brushes and my dollar store was actually sold out of them. All right, so that is what one layer looks like. It looks pretty good, you guys. Um, like, I'm actually kind of impressed. So I am going to apply just a little bit more just to see if it kind of can build a little bit because I would say this is like medium coverage. So I'm just going to apply just a little bit more just to see. All 
All right, you guys, so that is what my skin looks like. I'm actually pretty impressed with how that foundation looks on the skin. It's sitting really nicely, and I don't know if that's because of the primer. I don't know if that's the foundation. That's the only thing with trying, like, a new primer and a new foundation is you don't know how they're, you know, how they are on their own. But so far, it looks pretty pretty good. Alright, next up is concealer. This is their Believe Beauty Concealer. This is in the color Light Beige. They only had about five shades of concealer and this one matched me the best. So this is what the packaging looks like. Concealers scare me, but this is what the applicator looks like. So I'm gonna, ooh, this is a little dark. I probably could have gone with a lighter shade. Um, hmm. But the lighter shades looked super light. Like, it looked too light for me. So I'm just gonna go in and highlight the areas that I usually always highlight. I definitely could have gotten one shade lighter, but I was afraid because it kind of was a lot lighter. You guys, this is looking pretty good. Like, my under eyes look good. I wish I would have gotten a lighter shade to, like, kind of highlight them, but it did blend out nicely. It's not, like, looking cakey or anything. Alright, so that is what the foundation and concealer are looking like, and I'm kind of impressed, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, next up you guys, I have some setting powders here. I got a translucent one to set my under eyes, and then I got the light medium shade to set the rest of my face. So what I'm gonna do is pour the translucent into a cap, and it honestly doesn't really look translucent. It almost has like a yellowy undertone, so I'm gonna make sure this is all blended under my eye. And then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm going to put that right under there and I'm going to set. This powder does actually feel like pretty finely milled, which is really good, which is a really good sign. So I'm just going to kind of press this into my skin. I don't like the powder to sit too long under my eye. All right, so my under eyes look really good. Like, I don't know what's going on, you guys, but my under eyes... For a powder, like, I've seen high-end products that are so much worse. Um, the only thing is, I don't know if this has flashback, so, um, I hope it doesn't. Yikes! This has flashback so bad, you guys! You guys, this has such bad flashback. Okay, so, here's the thing. If you are getting pictures taken, do not wear this. I'm gonna take a picture, like, when I'm done with my makeup and see like what the deal is but so far it has flashback real bad so now I'm gonna take this other powder and I'm just gonna dust this all over the parts that we did not set powder and this is an elf kabuki brush I'm really bummed out about the flashback though because my skin actually looks really nice and I actually do really like this powder like it seems it feels really nice on my skin they had a bunch of different like blushes to choose from and a couple different bronzers I chose the In The Tropics, this is their In The Tropics bronzer powder in the color Hawaiian Glow. This one seemed to be the darkest, it seemed to have like the least amount of shimmer in it. I did also get this powder brush right here, and I'm going to try to use the bronzer with that as well. So it feels pretty good. So I'm afraid that this might be a little too dense for bronzer, but we shall see. So this is what the bronzer looks like. does have some kickback. Pretty good. So I like to take that down the nose just so everything kind of goes and blends cohesively. So this is what the bronzer looks like. Really pretty. Um, it does have shimmer in it, but it's not like really noticeable. All right, so next up I want to fill in these brows because I can't stand looking at them any longer. So this was the brow pencil that they had. They, they had a couple other colors. This one is in the shade Blonde, and it comes with a spoolie on the end, which I can appreciate. I love when brow products come with a spoolie. It just makes life easier. So I'm just going to brush through them, and it's just like a waxy kind of pencil. Yeah, this is definitely waxy. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell, but you can almost like see the the wax, like how it's kind of shiny right there, which is not like the end of the world, but definitely not like my new favorite brow pencil. 
All right, I'm just gonna leave the brows as they are. I don't wanna make things worse. All right, you guys, moving on to eyeshadow. We have this little palette right here. They actually had like, they had quite a few of these little um, palettes with like different color stories. And this one is of course nearly nude. This is what the product looks like. So we have like one matte shade or two matte shades and the rest are kind of like shimmery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the bronzer that I used and I'm going to put this in my crease. This is actually what I do a lot of the time. And I actually did get this little brush right here. This seems like it's going to be like a decent brush. So let's pull her out. So this is what the brush looks like. It actually seems like a really nice brush. So I'm going to go into that bronzer and I'm going to put this right into my crease. All right, I zoomed you guys in a little bit. I felt like I was too far away. As you can see, this bronzer almost has like a cooler tone undertone to it. So it actually works for kind of like contouring. Um, as you can see, it almost has like a cooler tone to it. So it looks really nice. This is like a perfect crease brush. So you could really go to the dollar store and buy like six of these and you'd be set for brushes. <laughs> All right, so now that we have that into our crease as kind of like a base, I am going to go into this kind of like um, reddish maroony shade, and I'm going to put this on the outer corner. So we definitely have pigment here. They definitely do have some kick up. So just be mindful of that, but that doesn't really bother me. I just kind of tap my brush off so that I can avoid getting like powder all over my face. Like that is not a bad shadow for the dollar store. I kind of want to do, um, bring some of that into my inner corner. So I'm going to take that same shade and put it right in my inner corner. I want to kind of do like a halo eye effect here. So we are going to do that. I don't want to just be like boring and do like an everyday look with this. That way we're just leaving the ball of the eyelid kind of bare. So what I like to do is just stick the brush like where I want it and kind of wiggle it back and forth. This has really good pigment you guys. Like what? Like you can create a nice look. I actually really really like the undertone of this shade. It's really pretty. I'm gonna go in with this kind of vanilla shade up here and just blend the outer edges with that. So now I'm just gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna put it under my lashes. You guys, I'm like shocked. I actually did get one of these, like, uh, what is this called? This is the Glimmer Pot Gel, and they had a bunch of these. I already touched it, but it's like this, like, whipped formula. But can we just talk about this pigmentation, you guys? Like, are you joking? So I think what I'm going to do is go in with this shade, and what I'm going to do is put that on, like, the ball of my lid, but then I'm going to top that with this to really make it pop out. So I'm just going to go in with my finger here, and we're just going to tap this. right there pretty good pigment pretty good pigment pretty pretty and then i'm gonna go on top of that with this like gold shade right here and we're gonna just make that really pop I feel like this is one of those products though that might perform better on its own because it's almost like mixing with the um, other eyeshadow, but it is really pretty. Like, look at that. What? Dollar General is coming for you, Sephora. Like, they're coming. I'm just gonna take the edges and just make sure that they're a little more blended. Okay, moving on. I'm so impressed, you guys. Like, look at this eye look. Like, that is really pretty, you guys. All right, next up we have a mascara. We actually have lashes to try, so I'm really excited. These are the lashes. They look really pretty. So this mascara is their High Drama Fiber Mascara, and I'm going to see what this looks like on my lashes. Oh, wait, you guys, I lied. I have a liquid liner. All right, next up we have a liquid liner, 
And this is their Believe Beauty Liquid Liner in Midnight Jaguar, which I don't know if it's supposed to be black, but it looks pretty good right there when I just swatched it. All right, so that's what the liner looks like. I mean, it's not horrible. In person, it's definitely like almost like a blue, like it's not jet black, which I like my liner to be super black. All right, so that is what we're working with. I also do have like a regular pencil eyeliner. So this is their long lasting eyeliner in the shade Caviar, which again, ooh, it seems super, seems super creamy. That's it right there. I'm just gonna apply this in to my waterline. Like, did you see how creamy that was? All right, I actually really like this liner. Hopefully it doesn't like smudge throughout the day, um, but it looks really good. Next up we have a mascara. I just took it out of the packaging. This reminds me a lot of the Maybelline mascaras. And this is what the wand looks like. Looks pretty good. I'm very picky with mascara, so we shall see. And then we have these eyelashes to apply. These are the Believe Beauty Goddess Finish False Lashes. These actually look really pretty. And they actually have the left and right little label on there, which is very, very helpful. So let's see how this mascara works. Alright, so that's what one coat looks like. Honestly, pretty decent, you guys. Like, I don't hate it. Like, it doesn't give you, like, a ton of volume, but it does look really pretty. So, I'm going to quickly apply these lashes, and we will be right back. Alright, we are back with the lashes on. You guys, what's going on? This is coming out so good, you guys. I'm so impressed. These lashes are actually pretty easy to apply, and they look really, really nice. I did trim them just a tiny bit on the outer corners. Whenever you trim lashes, you always want to make sure you trim on the outer corner because it's going to look more natural. If you trim on the inner corner, it's not going to look good. Wow, 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 wow. So impressed. So I am going to smoke out my lower lash line just a little bit more. I want it to be a little bit more smoky. So I am just going to go um, back in with that same brush and just bring this down just a little bit. All right, so now I just need to apply the mascara on my lower lashes. I actually really like this mascara for the lower lashes. I feel like I actually like it better on the lower lashes than the top. You better believe that this Believe brand is coming for Sephora. Like, I love the way this eye look came out. It's looking so pretty. All right, so I do want to kind of clean up my contour just a little bit. So I'm going to go back into that translucent shade and I'm just going to take this and just clean up right here just because I want it to be nice and clean. Alright, just to kind of clean that up and I'm just going to let that sit for just a second and then I'm just going to go in with my brush and just kind of blend that out. All right, now moving on to blush. I actually do have two blushes here because they were both so pretty. As you can see, this one's a little bit more like darker and more like berry toned, whereas this one is like peachy, and I really like this peachy one. And this is the Born to Blush. This one is in the color High Tea, and this one is Rosy Glow. I'm gonna go into that like peachy shade. This reminds me of something. All right, so I'm just gonna use this same brush, which I would not recommend. I don't think that this would be the best for blush, but I don't really have anything else. I'm just gonna dab into this and apply. Okay, so this definitely has like, it's almost like highlighty, but it's not really showing like color. So I think it might be a little too light. You can definitely see that it's like adding kind of a glow. So that's really pretty, but I feel like that's better for like fair tones. So I'm going to go in with this like darker one. This reminds me of NARS Orgasm kind of. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend that in a little bit. 
definitely a really pretty color. It does have a lot of shimmer in it. Um, so if you are someone that doesn't like blush with shimmer in it, um, it's not even really shimmer. It's like highlight. Like that almost looks like I put a highlight on. Um, but it is really pretty. Alright, so we have that. My battery is dying, so I need to hurry the fuck up. Alright, so next up we have highlight, which I'm really excited for this. I just get excited for new highlights in general, and this looked really pretty. So this is in the color Champagne Kiss, and they did have other shades, but this is what the shade looks like, and it looks really pretty. So, alright, so we are going to dive right into this highlight. It looks really pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so, <gasps> this is so pretty you guys. There is a lot of like kickback, but I'm just like tapping it off. Oh my gosh. All right, so that's really pretty. What I'm gonna do is spray my face and then I'm gonna apply another layer on top and see if it intensifies it. So they actually do have a um, setting spray. This is their Believe Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. So I am gonna spray my face with this and then go back in with highlight because I'm extra. Oh my, this mist is amazing. This mist is better than so many mists I've ever tried. Like, it comes out so nicely. It does have, like, a strong perfume scent, so you don't want to breathe it in. But, so now, I'm going to go back in, and I'm, I'm going to apply again. Yep, that definitely intensifies it. This, this is so pretty, you guys. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm almost done. Now we just have lips. Oh, I forgot that I got a contour stick. So I'm really sad. I, damn. All right, now we just have some lip products left. I have a lip liner, two liquid lipsticks, and a lip gloss. I'm going to go for this color, I think, and then top it with this gloss. So this lip liner is their long-lasting lip liner in the shade Barely There. I'm just going to line my lips with that. And then I'm going to go in with this color, Foxy. I'm going to apply this. The shade's a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be just like a little bit more nude, but it's still really, really pretty. While that's drying, I do want to quickly go into my inner corner and also my brow bone and highlight. I think this might be a little um, too gold to put on my brow bone, so I think I'm going to go in back to this palette right here. I'm going to take this shade right here, which might be a mistake, but we'll see. So it doesn't feel like the lip is getting like super dried. I don't know if this is supposed to have like kind of like a satiny finish. Like it almost just feels like a liquid, like an actual liquid lipstick. Like it feels like the finish of a lipstick, but it's not super drying, which I actually like. And I'm going to top it with this gloss in the color Ethereal. I'm going to put that right on top. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. This gloss is so pretty. It's so glossy. So this is the finished look, you guys. I'm honestly kind of shocked. Like, this turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I mean, I was really excited because these products do seem, like, pretty promising for the Dollar General. I mean, yeah, they're not a dollar. They're, like, three to five dollars each. But still, like, that is crazy. To be able to create a look like this using all these products is amazing. If you went to Sephora and bought a full face of makeup, you would probably spend $3,000. Like, I'm not even kidding you. When I buy makeup off Sephora and I buy one foundation in my brow pencil and a lip gloss, maybe like a blush, it's like $400. So the fact that I was able to pay $121 for this entire face look is insane to me. 
and yeah I'm really blown away let me know down below what you guys think have any of you guys tried these products these lashes like are low-key really pretty like I'm definitely going to wear these lashes again I really liked the um, reddish brown color in this palette it created a really pretty eye look that highlight is really pretty you guys like such a pretty highlight I was actually really impressed with the setting spray the mist on it was absolutely incredible I don't know how this is gonna wear I will let you guys know down below how this wears I did put a thing up on Instagram saying like do you guys think I'm gonna like this brand yes or no and so many people said no and I don't know if it's because they think I'm like a snobby bitch, but I'm really not. I actually have a lot of drugstore favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!